Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody, let's take a look again on your currency. So here you can see that our plan is working. So market is moving with the intraday patterns that we have discussed. And currently we're gradually coming to the second stage. So initially we suggested taking the short position based on hand shoulders pattern on the intraday charts. Now as market has reached the first destination point, depending on your trading style and what uh, time frame you are trading at, you could make different decisions. So if you trade directly on a four hour time frame chart where we have this hand shoulders, you could think about position closing or at least do something to manage your position. It's just because market already at, at the target. If you trade on a weekly daily basis and you have just taken the position, use this passion to possess yourself for a longer term downward direction. In this case, you need probably just to move stops to the break even and see what will happen next. Because a nominal trend here stands bullish on a daily chart, but we fade this trend direction against this strong confidence area. This is how uh, relationships stand between the high time frame and long time frame. So you use direction based on the high time frame on the weekly chart, it is bearish. And we use daily chart to choose the moments where we could in, and, and points where we could take the short position. Since we've got on intraday charts bearish pattern, we see this is around strong confidence. We make the decision on possible taking position despite that this trend stands bullish. So we faded against a strong level and overall bearish signs, overall bearish context that we have currently. And also as you can see harmonic swing, so all, all the stuff we have discussed already. Yesterday we also have got bearish reversal candle. So this is some kind of downside acceleration, which is good for a bearish position. Now, if we take a look at the lower time frame on the full time frame chart, uh, here we do not see something really new. Our sideways consolidation has been broken down. Nearest destination points, as we said, this probably will be the current lows. So market trying to retest. Why we again speak about these lows? Just because I remind you that this area, it's one or six, the strong confidence support on the weekly chart. So this was the first bounce, first touch and bounce up. This is also weekly COP target here on the big patch. So this is also agreement. Market shows first pullback. Now it is returning right back down. It probably will try to challenge it again, but we do not know whether this will be successful or not. That's why we once again consider these lows as the nearest target. If breakout will be successful, the next downside target will be around XOP 1 or 4, approximately 1 or 70. So that's in short what we have here. Now speaking about intraday trading. So on the hourly chart, if you remember, we said those who would like to go short need to take position with this pattern, right? Yes, it was a bit tricky action here, but nothing criminal has happened. So market was hold this top of the right arm accurately. And collapse has happened. So we, we had two times for position taken. First one, it was around the XOP has been completed. If you remember, 107.53, we talked about this whole week, last week. Second is a top of the right arm. If you have missed both opportunities, but you would like to go short, currently you need to do nothing. You just need to sit on the hands and wait when the market will show the bounce. So uh, now, we also briefly talked about the possible bullish uh, trading here for scalp traders who trade on intraday charts. And we said keep an eye on this 1 or 658 area because this will be FIB level, OP target of this hand and shoulders. And also this is 127 extension of the right arm. Previously we thought it might be the butterfly, but here was some nuance that has break broken the shape of the butterfly so here's nominally not the butterfly but extension still exists it also provides some support in a way of target now you can see what is going on we have great downside thrust and we have 
crossing of the three by three moving average. Here, those who would like to go short, you need to watch for an area around one, uh, one or six eighty, one or six seventy five, because this is previous uh, neckline on the hand shoulders, previous lows, and that might be brand by the sell in this area. Trend line, by the way, as you can see, also will be here, and that's maybe potentially brand by the sell because market crossing three by three is moving higher. Those who would like to take the long position, you actually uh, have to watch for intraday patterns on the five minute chart right there. So currently I do not see whether any patterns have been formed here or not, but if not, then you probably have the only chance for taking a long position here for scalp trading. It's potential double repo buy. So we have great thrust, first close above the three by three. If market will form close below and close above, once again, it will be double repo buy. And that potentially uh, might be used for scalp trading on the long side on intraday charts. Target will be approximately the same, maybe slightly higher. So somewhere around one or 690 maybe this level. So, uh, and don't forget that today's uh, Fed meeting results. So not for everybody, it's comfortable to take the positions trading uh, during the big events, such as the FMC meeting and press conference. So that's why just decide by yourself. This is a bit personal, uh, sp personal sphere. I don't want to intrude it, whether you like or not. Uh, I'm just trying to, to uh, discuss with you all important moments that might happen today. So that in short, what we have, those who have short positions and trade on a daily, weekly basis could move stops to break even and see what will happen. Uh, those who just would like to go short should to wait because market starts bounce from the support area and uh, you need to pull back to get the position, do nothing. Those who trade on intraday charts on the, uh, in the long, on the long side, you will have to wait for a pattern. So once it will be formed, theoretically, uh, it is possible to take the position with the target around 1 or 685, 1 or 690 probably. But be aware of the results of the FOMC. So that's probably all that I could say.